Okay, so first of all, you can change some of the slicer formatting by clicking on the slicer and going to the slicer tab. Then here you can change the width of the buttons and also the height of the buttons and the number of columns. Then you can change the height of the box as well and also the width of the box. Then you can change some of the other slicer settings by right clicking and going to slicer settings. You can also get to this same box by clicking slicer settings over here. And here you can change the header of the slicer. So in my case, it's compounds and you can also remove the header. You can change the order in which the values are sorted and also what happens when there's no data and OK. Now this will get rid of the two buttons at the top, but you can still get to them by right clicking and selecting clear filter from compounds to remove all of the selections and then right click and multi select compounds to be able to select multiple values at the same time without having to hold down control and then right click and select multi select compounds a second time to get rid of it. Now you can also modify the slicer by changing the slicer style. So this basically changes the color of the buttons. And then you can also choose a darker style which changes all of the buttons to gray and makes the color darker. You can also right click on one of the slicer styles and set it as the default, which means all new slices you make will have this style. And you can also duplicate the style and then modify it to make it look slightly different. What I am going to do is create a completely new slicer style. I will call this my style. And then down here, you can set as default slicer style for this document, which means any new slicer you make will have this formatting. And then you can format each of these slicer elements individually. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave all of this blank and click OK. And then if I select the slicer, I can change it to the custom formatting. And this basically removes all of the formatting from the slicer. So I have just the text here now. And ignore the dotted boxes. That's just because of the way I'm selecting it. And if I click on a value, you'll see that this still works as a slicer. Now, I would like it to be really obvious which value I have selected. So I'll click on the slicer again and go to the slicer tab and right click and modify my style. So this time I'll select selected item with data and format it. And you have lots of different formatting options. You can change the font and the font size and what color it is and also change the border and the border style and give that a color as well. And you can also change the fill color and give it a pattern if you want. I am going to change the font so it is a dark blue color and it has a single underline. I'm kind of trying to make it look a bit like a hyperlink. And OK and OK again. And now you'll see the value that is selected is blue and underlined. You'll also see that if I then hover over the selected value, the formatting disappears and it changes back to black. And that is because that formatting is a separate element in the slicer. So we will go back and modify this again and select hovered selected item with data and format. And I'm going to use the same formatting I used before, which is dark blue and a single underlined and OK and OK again. 
And now if I hover over this value, the formatting stays in place. Now I would also like it to be really obvious which other value I'm hovering over when I'm trying to select something else. So again, I will select the slicer and modify the custom formatting. And now select hover unselected item with data and format. And this time I'm going to change it to just be a single underlined and it will still be black and OK and OK again. And now when I hover over the other values, it changes to black underlined. Then when I actually click on it, it will change to blue. And I can hold down control to select multiple items if I want. Now, I actually prefer this really simple slicer formatting, but you can change the formatting to be whatever you like. And if you want to see how I linked the Excel chart to the slicer, you can watch my previous video. And that is everything.